Well, a very warm good evening to you all, everybody. And with a bit of luck, if I press the right button, you should be able to see me. Hi, folks. How you doing? Welcome to Keyboard Schools Pro, my YouTube channel. My name is Tom Horton, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you on this beautiful, um, slightly breezy evening here in the UK, but uh, a great evening, lovely and warm, and all looks very, very nice. And uh, yeah, lovely to see you all, and thanks for joining me this evening. And um, of course, I'm sure a lot of people are watching the, the footy, the football, because of course England are doing a fantastic job, aren't they? Really playing well, and of course big match tonight. Um, I'm not the biggest football fan in the world, and I'm guessing the folks who are watching this probably aren't either. But even so, I'm sure some folks will be watching a little bit later on, um, on uh, Watch Again as it were. But uh, wherever you are in the world folks, thank you so much for uh, uh, joining me this evening. I'll just make sure all the levels are good, which they are. It's always the thing when I have to do this, I have to multitask and uh, do everything myself and of course we've got great sound for the piano there but we'll just say a few hellos uh, to some of the gang um, on the chat uh, who have we got this scene we've got Ernie from Iowa well Ernie I very much doubt is watching England play Denmark uh, Peter Steen hello Peter up in the lovely Lake District a great alternative to commercial television this evening what do we do after 8.45 I <laughs> could watch videos on Patreon, that is very true. Well, lots of extra videos on my Patreon page, folks. Patreon.com forward slash Keyboard Skills Pro, um, where you get access to bonus videos, all the YouTube content, and also um, lesson PDFs as well. So do check that out. Uh, Philip's on. Hello, Philip. Finished my teaching and looking forward to missing the football. Now in the title, um, now in the title it says book one, and to the text it says book two. Still looking forward to this. Does it? Oh, I might have uh, I might have write, written that wrong, possibly. Yes, but this is pianistic book one that we're playing tonight, and we'll tell you about that. Trevor's on. Hello, Trevor Bunce. Uh, uh, Franz Shun Shunaga. We saw Franz last time. Welcome, Franz. Alan Fuller in the US. Um, Alan uh, Franz in um, Georgia, in the US, and uh, Franz is in um, uh, sunny. Rotterdam, um, and uh, is uh, oh is Master Horton making a cameo appearance again this evening? I, I, Joshua might try and get in, but we've I've locked the door today, so we don't get interrupted. But uh, we might bring him in for another session in the future. We shall see. Um, oh, we've got uh, Mario on from Panama. My word, hello Mario, welcome to you. Um, Harold's on. Good evening. Harold from Germany, um, Humanity, I don't know who Humanity is, that's his YouTube name, but he says hello Tom, so hello to you. Um, oh, Keith's on with Keith and Susan, thank you Keith and Susan, welcome to you both. And um, Eddie Fowler, um, definitely not watching the football, wrong shaped ball for me. <laughs> well, I must admit, I, I, if the golf was on the Ryder Cup, I would watch the Ryder Cup, but uh, there we are. Anyway, folks, there we go. So tonight, everyone, we are going to explore um, some of the pieces, well, actually all the pieces in my piano book, Pianistic Book One. And Pianistic Book One is one of three piano books in my piano book series. And we played the first book, uh, which is curious enough, just titled Pianistic. Um, and we played that a few weeks ago on, on a live stream. And um, uh, that, that's got some slightly simpler songs in from about grade one up to about grade three. But um, Pianistic Book Two, uh, sorry, Book One, um, a lot of people often ask, why is this book not got a number on it? Well, originally these books were published with a small publishing house, and uh, we did book one, and then we did book two. My publisher said, wouldn't it be great, Tom, if you wrote some slightly easier pieces? 
and we didn't want to call it book zero, so we just thought we'll just call it pianistic. So to confuse everyone, book one is the second book in the series. But in this book, we've got, um, which is dedicated to my lovely wife, Jennifer, we have got 10 um, pieces written by myself, and the books are ring bound, so they lay flat, which is good. There's performance notes and tips on each piece, but we've got Fifth Street Blues, Dancing Leaves, Midnight Mambo, and that was the piece we opened with a few moments ago. It's only minor. I dreamt um, I dwelt in marble halls. That one I did not write, but that is an arrangement of Michael Bolf's lovely aria. Evening Time, Joshua's Jiffle, Raindrop Rumba, The Chromatic Rag, and Eternal Love. So we're going to have a little evening of music, folks, if you'll hopefully put up with me selling my wares. Um, of course, as I've said before, with, um, with all these things, uh, the, the lockdown and everything has been a terrible time for people in the music industry. Um, I myself haven't played a live concert now for getting on for 16 months. Um, but fortunately, I've been able to continue with my work with Alan's at Alan's Music, um, doing my online teaching, now back at school. But uh, a little sideline of mine is obviously producing my organ music CDs, the, of my concert material, and also composing organ, keyboard, and piano books. So, so if you're feeling maybe you'd like something new for your collection at home, head over to the website, tomhorn.co.uk, and you can purchase uh, one or, or any of the books this evening. But we're playing from Pianistic Book One tonight. So let's now carry on with the first song in the book, The Fifth Street Blues, uh, which obviously is a blues number. And it gets its title from the, the perfect fifth intervals in the left hand. Following on from that, we'll have a, a classical piano style piece called Dancing Leaves, which uses the Alberti um, piano uh, left hand sort of bass pattern and then we'll tell you a bit more about the pieces after that so first of all the fifth street blues enjoy the music folks thanks for being with us and here we go with music from pianistic book one <laughs> a lot of people like that one. That's called Dancing Leaves from Pianistic Book One. And that one uses this pattern on the left hand, which is commonly known as Alberti bass. And it was commonly used in, in the classical music era. And um, before that, we have the 12th, sorry, the 12th Street Blues, the, <laughs> the 5th Street Blues, which um, have these lovely big chords in and the perfect fifths in the left hand. Now, a lot of people often ask, well, what sort of level are these pieces? Well, they kind of range from kind of piano level about grade three up to about grade five-ish. So kind of intermediate, but if you can read treble and bass clef, um, and uh, there's even chord symbols, so you can adapt the pieces for 
the organ and keyboard, but uh, obviously primarily they are obviously mostly in piano style. Um, so as we said, the books are ring bound, and I always insisted that my books were ring bound because what people always say, oh, the blimmin' pages never stay open. So by having it ring bound, it's professionally printed, lovely non um, sort of parchment off white paper, and it's nice, clear, easy print. That's Midnight Mamba that we had at the beginning. So next we go into a little jazz number entitled It's Only Minor. And if you're wondering about how to get into these pieces, well, in the front of the book, we have a whole set of performance notes. So in the case of It's Only Minor, it says, the great jazz standard, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing by Duke Ellington, has a 32 bar AABA structure. It's Only Minor uses the same format and enjoys swung quavers, a walking bass, plus some thumping triplet chords in bar 23. The hands need to land automatically on the last chord, so this needs practice to get it right every time. And, and that's the same for each piece. We talk a little bit about each piece so you can get an idea of how you might go about performing it. After It's Only Minor, we're going to hear the only piece in the book that I didn't compose, but I did an arrangement of this. It's I Dreamt I Dwelt in Marble Halls, which is the aria from Michael uh, Bolt's lovely operetta, The Bohemian Girl. And any of you watching um, who are Laurel and Hardy fans, um, you may remember Laurel and Hardy used to do some spoof takes on some of their films. Um, so we, of course, the most famous one is Way Out West. That was like a comedy western. Um, but they actually did a, an operetta, a comedy operetta called The Bohemian Girl. And uh, there's a, uh, the story of The Bohemian Girl is that um, the gypsies kidnap the, the, uh, one of these uh, uh, sort of uh, Saxony, Austrian uh, duke's daughters. And um, uh, she is stolen as a young girl, a very young girl. So she's raised as a gypsy. And um, partway through the opera, she has these vague memories of a time when she lived a life of luxury. And of course, um, she lived in a big palace with marble halls and things. And so that's what the song is, a reminiscence of this kind of daydream that she has. Um, in the Laurel and Hardy film, <laughs> it's done at breakfast time. And of course, Ollie says to her, um, the girl, she goes, oh, oh, daddy, I had the most wonderful dream last night. And I, I was, I lived in this castle and I was a princess. And, he, and Ollie goes, a princess? And of course, he just looks at her with adoring eyes as she sings Michael Valsoria. And Stanley's sitting there stuffing his face, eating everything on the breakfast table. And, <laughs> and after all, all the breakfast is gone. So if you haven't seen The Bohemian Girl, I think it's actually on YouTube, actually, probably. But Lauren Hardy in the comic operetta there. And of course, any Lauren Hardy film is very good. So it's only minor, a little, a little, it's called It's Only Minor because it's written in G minor. Uh, and then after that, my arrangement of Michael Bolt's um, aria from the opera to The Bohemian Girl. Enjoy, everybody.
Oh, isn't that a lovely piece? What a wonderful composition there. And uh, a lot of people ask, how do, you, how do you arrange a piece of music? Well, you take um, another person's work and style it differently, um, just as, you know, they do, um, uh, they do you know, um, operas and they set them in 1950s America and things like that. So, um, so, but you can do that with a piece of music one of two ways. One, you have to get the permission of the composer and license the piece. But in the case of, uh, of classical pieces and things before kind of 1900 and backwards or so, um, most of them are what we call public domain, which means nobody owns them. They're just in the public domain. So you can take them and do a nice arrangement like that. So I so hope you enjoyed that, everybody. I dreamt I dwelt in marble halls, and before that, um, I um, uh, composed the number which was entitled It's Only Minor. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm liking these songs, this would be a good book to have in my music collection, tomhorton.co.uk, everybody. You can see the three pianistic books on there, um, uh, the one without number, the one that we're doing tonight, which is pianistic number one, and in a few weeks' time, we'll spend a little time together playing book two, which is the more advanced music. Now, let's now crack on and play the next few pieces. Now, this next one is kind of inspired by the um, Bing Crosby sort of style, those nice relaxed ballads, and this one's called Evening Time. So imagine a, a family somewhere in the south of America or Midwest somewhere, and it's a nice warm evening, and they're sitting out maybe outside on their porch and uh, relaxing, and Dad picks up the guitar and strums a little tune, um, and maybe whistles along as it's evening time. So uh, this one's called Evening Time. That's a favourite of mine in the series, Evening Time. It's that nice old style, the strumming guitar. And you'd imagine, you know, Bing Crosby going. You know, there's that little whistle in the background. So, so a little, little ditty there, and that one's written in G major. So you can see these pieces are quite, they're not too long. Um, most of them are a couple of pages, um, but they're all very playable to kind of, um, you know, sort of intermediate style piano players. So, so you know, those you've been playing maybe for maybe two or three years or longer, oh, just looking for some new music. Because, you know, one of the reasons I wrote these um, uh, these pieces was a lot of people used to say, you know, every time you pick up a piano book in a shop, even if it's a new book from a publisher and it's, say, hits of the 60s or 90s favourites or jazz and swing, they always have the same music in. Have you noticed that? Publishers very rarely put new pieces in a book. They, you buy a jazz book and it's all they've all got In the Mood and Fly Me to the Moon. You think, well, yeah, those are the, the famous songs. Um, but there's loads of other songs that were nice, and I think that more people would probably buy some books if they had some different pieces in. And it's nice to bring pieces back from the past. So I thought, well, hey, there's a lot of piano books out there, but if people want new music, let's give them some fresh material. And so I drew on my 20 years of teaching piano and the pieces I've chosen and 
helped people learn over the years on, in piano lessons. And so I wrote the, and arranged this collection of pieces to help people not only learn stuff um, about their playing, but, but there's things written into the pieces. So there's chords, there's scales, there's rhythm patterns that maybe some people might not come across. And each book's got a big variety of music. So in Pianistic Book One, we've got classical style piano, we've got um, blues, mambo, which is Latin American, we've got jazz, we've got slow swing, we've got rumbas, ragtime, ballads, sort of late classical opera kind of stuff. Um, so the next one is called Joshua's Jiffle. Um, oh, one or two four more folks have joined us this evening. Folks, just quickly say hello to them. Uh, we've got Jeffrey Boyle, who's going, yeah, peace man, with a guitar. Good to see you, uh, Jeffrey. Thanks for joining us. And I think what looks like a football. So Jeffrey must be multitasking, watching the football and watching us at the same time, we hope. Um, oh, and Charles is on. Hello, Charles, built for fun. Nice to hear from you, Charles. And thanks so much for being with us this evening. So this next one's called, because a lot of people say, where do you get the titles from? Sometimes when I write a piece of music, um, I, I have an idea, an idea, something I see, something I hear, and that little idea can sort of turn into a piece of music. And so um, when I first uh, wrote this book, my wife said, she said, um, are you gonna write a song about our son who had just been uh, a couple of years born before? And I thought, well, we could, could do a song for Josh. And I thought, well, Joshua's uh, running all over the place. He's fidgety, as boys are, a bit much like me, can't sit still for a moment. And so um, I said to my publisher, I've got this really fast little, um, live little number. And, he, and so I played it to him. He goes, oh, he said, that's not good, that. And I, and I said, he said, what have you called it? I said, well, I've called it Joshua's Jig. But I said, the problem is, it's not in 6-8, it's in 2-4. And he goes, yeah, he said, well, he said, jigs classically are in 6-8. So he had a thought about it. And he said, um, he said, um, why not call it Joshua's Jiffle? And I said, Joshua's what? And he said, Jiffle, J-I-F-F-L-E. And he said, I found this word in a magazine. And he said, a Jiffle is an old East Anglian word. Now, East Anglia is the, the hump on the right of England. So, you know, when you look at England, it looks like a lady riding a warthog with a big hat and a feather. Well, there's a bit where I live, which is the, the back end of the hog. <laughs> and that area is comprised of four counties and it's known as East Anglia. And uh, lots of stuff's happened here over the years, very exciting area of England. And so there are a lot of local dialect words that have kind of died away over the years. Um, and jiffle means fast and fidgety. So it became Joshua's jiffle. Following on from that, next door, we've got the raindrop rumba. And the raindrop rumba were, was the story behind that one is I was just sitting in, uh, not this studio, my other music studio, and um, trying to think of a song to write for this book. And it started to rain. And I was already thinking, we need like a Latin number. So I was thinking maybe a rumba or a, a tango. And I thought, you know, I could hear the rain dripping outside and I could hear, you know, this kind of drip. I thought, oh, maybe, maybe we could do some imitation of the raindrops. And of course, it really works well with staccato. That's just like raindrops, you see. So the raindrop rumba came about like that. Before that, a little number dedicated to my lovely son, um, who hasn't appeared yet. Maybe he's not coming in today. Um, <laughs> Joshua's Jiffle. Here we go.
There we go, everybody. The Raindrop Rumba, and before that, Joshua's Jiffle. So, so they're, they're quite short pieces, I mean, because most, most sort of grade three, four stuff is either a page or a couple of pages. Um, but these are great, particularly if you've maybe just done an exam, maybe if you just took a piano grade, uh, grade three, grade four, grade five, and you're looking for some fresh new material for your collection, grab a copy of Pianistic Book One. Anybody who buys a, a, a book tonight, I'm gonna to be more than happy to sign it and dedicate it if you just let me know the name when you order it. But you can order by the website. We can send the books anywhere in the world, so they can be shipped to literally anywhere on planet Earth. Um, but if you fancy a digital copy, you can also order that via the website as well. Just follow the links um, to sheetmusicplus.com um, where you can download a PDF version. But it's nice to have the book um, because these were printed by a local publishing company, um, who I use, a local print company, I should say, and so it's nice to support them. Well, everyone, we're half an hour in, so we'll have a slightly shorter session tonight, because I know you're all itching to get to watch the football. Um, anyway, but England are doing fantastically well. I would say it's really nice when, when I have watched them, a little sort of the highlights a little bit, um, um, they have actually been playing really well. But, of course, um, as we know, with England getting to semi-finals, that's always a, an interesting area. But, but who knows? Fingers crossed the guys will will make it to the final. I think it will be certainly something wonderful after all the, the lockdown and everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, so all interesting stuff. So talking of what's going on in the future, hopefully uh, later this year I'll be getting back into doing some concerts. Uh, hopefully back at the Grange uh, with my friend Jonathan playing his uh, mighty word at Sir Organ and entertaining the visitors there. Hopefully in the autumn the Southwold Cinema will reopen where I'm organist. Uh, playing a three-manual virtual theatre organ. And uh, over the summer, hopefully, we'll be starting to prep for pantomime um, in January and next year. Uh, so, fingers crossed, uh, you know, all the, the lockdown restrictions that are being lifted in a couple of weeks here in England will, hopefully, people will be sensible, um, carry on wearing masks where it's appropriate, and uh, just... Uh, not sort of jump the gun, I think. I think that's the thing. A lot of people I've spoken to have sort of said, hey, we're going to be free. It's like, well, no, no, you aren't. Take it easy. Um, you know, let's not jump the gun. So I think if everybody's sensible, we should hopefully have a great summer and um, hopefully look forward to things getting a little bit more back to normal over the coming months. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I'm also in the process of writing a keyboard book um, for electronic organ and keyboard owners. So that'll be out hopefully sometime this year. And uh, later in this year, hoping to do a Christmas book with arrangements and new compositions of Christmas pieces for piano. So we'll bring you news on that. Um, anybody watching who's an organ fan, particularly Theatre Organ, my new Theatre Organ book is still selling incredibly well. Theatre Organ Originals, five brand new compositions for the Theatre Organ. Um, talking earlier about how we teach people things, a lot of students learn scales, and they learn their arpeggios, and they learn their things like this, the chromatic uh, scales and stuff. So I thought, wouldn't it be great to get people into a, a real favourite style of mine? In fact, if you've um, if you just finished, uh, uh, visited the channel for the first time today, folks, um, my channel's all about teaching people music, um, performing, and doing lots of things with organs, pianos, keyboards, and music theory. So there's a lot of piano tutorials on the channel, classical pieces, uh, modern pieces, different styles, but there's also a few of Joplin's rags. So I thought, I've never written a rag. I'm going to have a go at writing a rag. I can do this. <laughs> and I thought, let's teach people about stuff at the same time. So we learn how to play the stride piano style. And we also learn about chromatic patterns. So it's called the chromatic rag. Enjoy.
So written in the style of all the great rags, um, but uh, that one's called the Chromatic Rag, and as the title suggests, it um, it lets you uh, hear things, um, learn things about chromaticism, um, which of course is scales that we that we learn. So there we go, everybody. Well, folks, we are coming towards the end of the book. And the last piece in the book is a number I, I dedicate to my lovely wife, Jennifer, and this is called Eternal Love. And it's a kind of a 1980s, 1990s kind of ballad, pop song. And uh, this one uh, is in E flat major, and it's got lots of lovely flows. We use the pedal, and uh, so I hope you enjoy this one. Eternal Love. So there we are, folks. That completes the 10 compositions, um, including one arrangement, um, of my piano book, Pianistic Book One. So thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. Um, slightly shorter live stream tonight uh, because I've, I've had a tremendously busy couple of days with teaching and, uh, and different work and things. Uh, so next time, we're going to have some fun uh, in our next live stream, and it's going to be a theme night and the theme night is going to be each medley of music is going to be all about the same word um, or item so we're going to have some medleys um, with the word red in and some medleys with the word blue in and things like that so I hope you can enjoy that and we'll, we'll play piano and keyboard and so on um, but thanks to everyone for watching lovely to have your company as always and I say if you if you enjoyed the music of, of the pianistic piano book number one and you fancy a copy and uh, would like to you know just just support musicians uh, like myself uh, please head over to my website tomhorton.co uk you can see sample scores so you better see a little bit of a flavor of what the book looks like and there's also audio demos on there so you can listen to all the pieces again tonight if you want to hear them a little sample of each one um, as i say the books i can ship them worldwide um, so we can send them to um, you know suffolk scotland germany we can send them to japan panama america a lot of books have already gone around the world um, if you don't fancy a, a physical copy as i say you can buy a digital copy um, via the website in the music book menu there's a thing that says sheet music plus and i've got my digital copies of my piano books on there so you can purchase them and download them um, but it's nice to have a physical copy i think you know a lot of people don't buy should still buy books i think as much as i love technology and things you still can't be a book it's something that you look at hold feel um, 
you go back to it and come back to it time and time again. Many of the pieces, these books that people have bought them and students and so on, um, have um, always said, I always go back to the book. I, I learn a piece, put it away for a month or two, get it out again, learn another one. So they're good books, I think, very wholesome books in, in, in terms of the different styles. And I'm trying also to introduce different styles to different age groups because kids and youngsters probably don't play the music of the big band era. They don't play, you know, they just want to play some of the pop chart stuff maybe. So it's nice to get people into playing different styles. Um, as I say, thanks to everyone um, watching. Oh, Steve's on. Hello, Steve. Nice. He says, nice. I, I don't know if he's referring to the goal on the TV or my music book. Probably my music book. Thank you, Steve and Pat. Um, Harold's put lovely. Eddie Fowler's put thanks, Tom. Enjoyed that. And Jeffrey Ball's put cheers, mate. Thank you, Jeffrey. Lovely to have your company and indeed everyone else, Keith and the rest of the gang. Thanks for watching tonight, everyone. Um, so we will say cheerio and we'll see you in a couple of weeks for our next live stream. Um, which will be a theme night, as we've said, and um, lots of lovely songs which are going to have some great feedback out from, from I, mean, I can't believe how fast the weeks go. Um, it was two weeks ago that we did our waltz evening, which went down tremendously well, all the music of waltz music. Um, so do hit the subscribe button, folks. Share the channel videos around. If you've got a friend who plays the organ or the piano and thinking, have you seen this guy Tom's channel, Keyboard Skills Pro? Get them to search it out and hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you'd like to support me in what I do, please visit patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro because we've got to pay for this new room somehow, guys. <laughs> but it's great to have a dedicated room now for the live streams. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much and good night.